Hey everybody, it's Matt from Rock You back with another one minute masterclass. Today's masterclass, unison bends. And I'm sorry, my neighbors are doing work up there. So you gotta deal with the drilling and the hammering. I've been dealing with it all day. What's a unison bend? Well, it's basically when you play the same note on two strings at once by bending one of the strings to the note that the other one is playing. So for example, you might play a B on the sixth string of your guitar, your E string, and a B by bending the B string at the 10th fret. There you go. Now they're both playing a B. It sounds more interesting than just. Most of the time we do unison bends on one of the two thinnest strings. And the formula is pretty simple. If you're playing a note on your thinnest string, your E string, the other finger should be three frets up on the string above that. So in this case, seven and 10. But if you're playing a note on the B string, which is your fifth string, the other finger should be only two frets up on the fourth string, which is your G string. And you'll still get the same effect. Different note, same effect. And why do we do it? Simply just to add a little interest to our soloing or to the notes. So for example, think about the uh, birthday by the Beatles. Those are unison bends. If you just played the E note, Not a lot of interest there. Doesn't sound that good. When you're bending your note, make sure you put your thumb across from the fingers that are bending the note. You should always have your thumb across from the middle of your hand. You don't want to have your thumb here, or definitely not there. But make sure you put your thumb, your, your thumb about across from your fingers and make sure you use at least two fingers. So you're gonna, for example, if I'm bending this fret, this happens to be the what? Um, uh, this is the 14th fret of the G string. I want to push it with both of these fingers and just slide it up toward myself. Um, you could do it with one finger, but that takes a lot of practice and it's kind of hard and you'll finger your fingers will get tired. One last cool thing is you can get kind of a cool oscillating effect by bending the note not completely in pitch. So for example, listen to this. You hear that warbling? That's because the notes aren't totally in pitch and it's a cool physics effect, but it makes that sound. And you can change it as you go. Make it faster or slower depending on where the note is. It's just a fun thing to do. That's it for Unison Bends. We'll see you next week for another One Minute Masterclass.